Hey everybody, and welcome to learning ProBuilder in one minute for ProBuilder 6. So first we'll need to open the package manager. In here, make sure you have Unity registry selected and type in ProBuilder or some close form of that. Select it and click install. I already have it installed here, so I'll close that. Now we'll just want to make our work environment here a little easier. So hit the tilde key on your keyboard and we'll turn off everything except for tools and tool settings. You'll see why in a moment just for this. And I'm also going to right click on each header and choose, oops, let's pull it out and then set it to panel. And I'm going to dock that just below. Okay. Now we have tools, tool settings. That's everything we need. Just those basics for all of ProBuilder. So at the top here of tools, one of your three tools or however many you might have your creation tools are on the very end, click on the create and you can start drawing out a shape right away. You can also click and drag if you'd like to pick anything else. I'll take a cylinder maybe here, throw that in the center and stairs are always um, a nice crowd pleaser, right? So here's a stairway, ta-da. In this case, if I've set this in the wrong direction, maybe I want to turn around, you can click on the little uh, kind of hard to see arrows that pop up on the side here. And you can also use any of these little uh, draggy items on the side. Also, when you have a shape selected, you'll notice that it shows the settings here. So you can change the type uh, in here as well if you're using, um, well, actually the edit shape tool a little different, but um, yeah, for now, what matters is here, you can change like step count and blah, 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 things like that. Uh, but we don't care about that. Let's do something more interesting. Uh, number one, editing it. So actually I will hit escape to exit that tool or no, I won't. I'll hit uh, this button to go to the correct like move tool. Um, let's just uh, slide that guy out of the way, pick this one here and let's edit it. So in Pro Builder 6, all you have to do is click on the edit button that appears. You'll notice with nothing selected, nothing available. As soon as you select the Pro Builder editable object or any kind of editable item, it'll say, hey, here's how to edit it. Activate that and now you can select any of the uh, elements on that. So right now I'm in face editing mode so I can grab uh, faces and edit them or you can swap right down here. So my current tool is move faces essentially. It could be rotate, scale, etc. cetera. Um, and these are the settings for that tool. So here I can choose vertices. So now that tool is actually selecting the vertices and I can move those around and such. Or I can do the same for, uh, let's take like this edge right here and again, back to faces. And of course, all the regular tools work and you have the nice handy dandy shortcuts like holding shift to do a extrude or inset type thing. Uh, if you want to do something like just make this handle pop out in the direction of this face, go ahead and again, back to the tool settings since that's just how the tool operates, change from global straight to element. And now it's right there and I can hold shift and extrude that uh, or just you know use it to move it around in that direction. Maybe set it back to local, which is essentially the objects orientation whenever you want. There's a couple more settings up here. I'll let you explore through those and some extra tools as well. One actually worth showcasing is the cut tool, which is a nice new one, allows you to do something like uh, well, what you'd expect in pretty much any DCC you used in the past 20 years or so, <laughs> you could make a uh, a cut in that. So we're over we're over one minute for sure, but that's fine. I think this is going pretty well. I'll keep going at it. Uh, cool. So we've created this and this beautiful thing. Let's talk about just a few more pieces of the UI. Uh, I wonder what that would be. Uh, okay. So I mentioned this earlier, this thing called edit shape up here. Um, again, if you'd like to uh, do the editing on Pro Builder shapes, it's this thing here. I'm going to turn it off right now. And now you'll notice I'm just in game object mode, but there's always this edit shape, but only when I have a Pro Builder shape selected. And this is the quick tool to basically just open these settings so you can change things like, again, the side count or more excitingly, the steps count on the stairway way over here and have these handles again to kind of flip it around and do that sort of parametric editing. If you use that on a regular or on an already edited object, so I click edit shape, it's gonna say, hang on, hang on, a bit of a danger here. You can either have parametric or or just you know these fancy edits we've done here. So if I click reset shape, I'm gonna lose all those edits, but now I have access to the, well, in this case, it's just a cube, so not a lot. Um, so just be aware, kind of dangerous. You can, of course, just control Z and you'll be back to what you had before, so don't worry. Uh, okay, and that's pretty much it. Of course, you also have, uh, let's see, poly shape here. So that means you can just click a few points, set those out, drag up, and you've got a complex shape like that. And if you want to, uh, let's say, um, well, let's just edit that in the same way. Click on the editing tool, again, edit it in this way. Or what I can do is edit it as a poly shape. Though again, that's gonna revert it back to itself. And I can go in here and just kind of move things around. 
uh, using these points and the initial sort of extrusion of it. One last thing actually to talk about, almost forgot, important. So let me uh, let me just get rid of this guy here. And so actions, actions are probably the thing you're wondering where they all are. Right now there's no more big old toolbar. Instead you just select uh, actually whatever you want to be working on. So vertices, edges, or faces, select the item that you want to do an action to and then right click. So when you right click, it gives you all the actions currently available uh, for that. So in this case, let's say I wanted to, um, let's do a more interesting one. Let's bevel this edge right here. So two things about this, again, it's nice and easy, right on the right click. And also you now have a live preview. So if you turn that on, sometimes it can be a little slow depending on your laptop, it's not super duper. Um, but hey, we're trying, it's getting a little closer. So now I can change that a bit and then hit confirm when you're ready and done. And that'll work for just about all the actions. So it gives you a really quick way to um, do quick uh, solutions like that. So another thing as you'll notice is we now show the shortcut key here, which you can get to uh, with a quick click. Uh, sorry, if you can get to uh, from edit and go to shortcuts and that opened on the wrong monitor. Here we go. And if you just search down through this for Pro Builder, you'll see there's a ton of good stuff for, so first thing I like to do things like set up uh, vertices to be one, edges two, and faces, uh, there it is, uh, three. So I can quickly jump in between those modes and not have to click the UI uh, and maybe some other items. You know what, I'm just noticing dangerously uh, it's not showing these actions. So eh, that's a bug at this point, but uh, anyway, you can see them there and uh, hooray. Okay, anyway, these are temporary documentation videos. So uh, yes, all that. Um, hope that answers quick questions. I'm gonna rename this to five minute, not one minute tutorial, obviously. But yeah, take a look. Again, you can always use shortcuts to jump around through things. Oops, unless you have this. Uh, by the way, if this does pop up, um, I hit the two key and it says, hey, this is already used for 2D mode, um, which I don't use. So I'm going to select that and click on rebind because I really want it to use instead. I want to use it for the thing that I set it as instead of this uh, 2D mode and click perform selected. And now what that means is, yep, now the two key is rebound to select edge mode. So hooray. And of course, escape to just get back to regular object editing. Uh, very exciting. Okay, well, thanks for this quick look. Again, I hope you enjoy it. Uh, much, much faster to use these days and you just need these two panels right here. We'll talk about more advanced things later. Um, okay, thanks for watching. See you in the future ones.